I turn now back to the crisis at the border and joining us tonight to talk more about the situation in Del Rio is immigration lawyer Lorraine D'Alessio. Thank you for joining us on Prime. So we just heard some sound from the photographer who took those images of the Border Patrol agents on horseback. Is it not as bad since they didn't actually use the whips on migrants or is it still bad that they were going after them with whips in hand? Well, there has been an alleged use of horse, horseback border patrol agents using blue whips on Haitian immigrants. However, it does turn out that the whips were in fact reins, allegedly, um, in which the horseback patrol, patrol uh, agents utilize in, to, in order to control their horses. So there seems to be definitely a rush to judge um, what the usage of these alleged whips, um, and there has been claims against the Border Patrol agents stating that there will be consequences coming for Border Horse, horse Patrol of using horses. Horrible, uh, of course, is what we're actually exhibiting. However, there has been a promise by Biden that there will be consequences and quite severe ones. Um, but when you look at an investigation by the Trust Index team, the assertion that the patrol agents are using these whips against the agents seems to be untrue. Despite this, on Thursday, the Biden administration announced that the Border Patrol agents will be banned from using horses in Delray, Texas. Uh, when we talk about asylum here and who's eligible, Haiti seems like it, it would be up there. There's definitely strife in that country, gang activity, a failed state, a president's assassination, a horrible earthquake, followed by another horrible earthquake, 0% vaccination of COVID, poverty, lack of infrastructure, I could go on. So what qualifies TPS status and refugees' asylum eligibility? Um, well, for, for TPS status, you must actually be in the United States in order to claim that. It's special protected status that is extended to only certain countries that are recognized to be um, in strife and certain uh, humanitarian conditions that the administration, U.S. administration, would counter as, as needing to be protected. However, of course, utilizing 40, Title 42, we see for Biden doing right now, this is actually preventing these migrants from being able to enter the United States and to be able to even claim this status. There were rumors uh, that if these migrants went to the U.S. Embassy that there would be hand uh, granted TPS status at, on the spot there, but that absolutely would be false. That is not in accordance to the to the rule. They would actually have to enter the United States. The same with asylee status. They would actually have to enter the United States. And there has been talks with the Biden administration with Mexico um, in terms of a remain in Mexico policy that, that they would in fact be converting this into refugee applications, which actually take years and years to process and even be approved. So this is really not an immediate relief at all for these migrants. All right. Well, thank you very much uh, for joining us tonight. We appreciate having you. Pleasure.